Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 387 of Prog Review. And today, if you haven't read the title of the description, I'm talking about Another Green World by Brian Eno. I know, um, I think some, some people often say, Don't do Brian Eno! Um, so this is this is it. This is Eno's third studio album, released way back in September 1975. Um, for those of you whose attention span is three minutes, um, I'm giving this five sky saws out of five. That's five sky saws out of five. My name has been Darren Locke, and I've been talking about another Green World by Brian Eno. Prog on. Right, now the goldfish are out of the way, uh, we shall continue. Like I said, this is the third studio album uh, by Brian Eno, and it's a bit of a departure from his previous two albums, uh, which I haven't reviewed. I don't think I've reviewed them, I don't know. Uh, here come the Warm Jets and um, Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. Those are more of the, they were more in the, the pop rock oeuvre, whereas this sees Eno moving to more experimental waters even though it's largely instrumental I mean, there are a couple of songs on it but it's, it's a largely instrumental album you can see him kind of almost heading towards that that ambient paradise that he set out to create um there are there are lots of different people on there uh phil collins he's on here must be good again as phil collins explained eno did a bit of mixing on uh uh, on the land lies down on Broadway, and in return, Genesis sent Phil Collins upstairs to Brian Eno, like a common prostitute, uh, to pay off their debts. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, I say, got Percy Jones. He's on the bass. Uh, John Cow, he's in there as well. Um, uh, from Mr. Fripp. Am I, am I allowed to talk about Mr. Fripp? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I know where I stand, um, and yes, yeah, so there's lots of there's lots of um, lots of people playing on this. But like I say, it's very different, very different from the previous album. Uh, it's very fast and loose. It opens with Sky Saw, which is just I I find it an amazing piece, and the lyrics are all you know cut and paste and mixed up and you know stream of consciousness, fantastic. Uh, piece of work and again the textures are on here um, you know he, um, Eno uses interesting descriptions to talk about the guitars like he, he uses a snake guitar that's not a snake made made into a guitar or a guitar looks like a snake it's just how he describes the sound that the guitar he's processed makes because he puts it through various treatments and then he says that's a snake guitar same as the digital guitar or the Wimborne guitar or whatever. Uh, it's the Eno's way of describing the sound that the end instrument makes, if that makes any sense. Um, again, over Fire Island, very small track, very atmospheric. St. Elmo's Fire, one of the... Um, one of the uh, lyrical, spoken, sung uh, songs. One of the great um, guitar solos, again, Mr. Fripp on the Wimshurst guitar, whoops, um, fantastic solo, and you get an, again you get a similar with I'll come running to tie your shoes, and again best best Fripp solos are always on other people's albums, and this is where you'll find two two good ones, um, and again it, these songs are punctuated by very atmospheric uh, tracks like um, In the Dark Trees, Big Ship. Of course, another green world, which you may know if you're from England, as the theme tune to, um, oh, you know that program, Arena. I knew, I knew it. I watch it. Well, I used to watch it. I don't make it anymore, do they? Don't know, unless they put it on BBC Four. The cultural ghetto is BBC Four. Uh, but yeah, Arena. Dum 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 dum. You 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 know. You know. Um, and then if you flip it over to the B side, you start with Sombre Reptiles. Great version of that on 801 Live. Must cover that sometime. Um, and again, Golden Hours. Very, very nice track. Um, and we head towards probably one of my favourite um, songs in the Eno canon. 
everything merges with with the night. Um, Rosalie, <laughs> I've been waiting all evening. Um, but I really like that one. And I uh, see I've got a story. I've got a story to tell you. Back in the day, when when me me and the missus, when she was just back as the girlfriend, uh, we started courting. Um, she went off. Not went off. She didn't go off. She didn't go past a cell by day. She didn't start to smell. No, she went off on a on a on a family holiday, and they went to Scotland or somewhere like that, some barbaric place. Um, and she bought uh, a copy of Another Green World for me, on cassette. I think it was cassette. Was it CD? No, it was cassette. Definitely cassette. Because uh, it was in the bargain bin. We, we didn't have much money. You know what it's like back in... When you're young, well, I still ain't got any money. But <laughs> nothing's changed. <laughs> um, but she bought me this cassette home. And it was the first time I'd experienced the album. And I had it on my on my Walkman. Oh, God, explain what a Walkman is. It's, a, it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like an Apple iPod, but you put a tape in it. What's a tape? A tape is, a, is an analogue music delivery system. Um... Fantastic! I miss those days. Those simpler, gentler, kinder days. Um, and I was just absolutely entranced by this record. And I did actually win. I think it was eighty nine. Made barely a year later. E. G. brought out a load of box sets: King Crimson, Roxy Music, um, Brian Eno. And I got the green Brian Eno box set. I think I sold it. I think I think I sold that one. Yeah, I've only got the King Crimson one. Um, but that had um, another Green World in it on CD. And I was entranced by that as well. And it is just a fantastic album. It really is. Um, I can't go over how good it is. Oh, after all these years, it's just his... I think it's his finest It's his finest moment. Um, the great um, piece of artwork by Tom Phillips doing the, on the sleeve there. Um from his um it's a it's a detail from a larger piece called after raphael um and it's just i just find it an absolutely amazing amazing record he's never really never really topped it um because there's so many interesting textures on there it's instrumental music it's structured it's non-structured it's it's just it's peculiar it's a peculiar record and it's like a puzzle and that's probably why I enjoy it so much because it's you know it always leaves me thinking about it. Um, but if you haven't got it, do get it because I guarantee it will change your life. It will. It will, ch it will change your life, and it'll introduce you to. Well, you, you'll suddenly realise that hey, Phil Collins is a really good drummer, and hey, Robert Fripp, his guitar playing is a lot better when he's not with King Crimson. Um, and yeah. It's a it's a great record. I don't know what else to say about it because it's it's just it's just perfect. It is perfect. Even even the the, the not so good tracks are, are good. You know, it is it's perfect. So like I say, it scores five sky saws out of five. Easy easy. I like it when they're easy, don't you? Oh, very good. Um, so yeah, my name's been Darren. Like I've been talking about Eno's Another Green World, an album. You should own. Um, I know people have said do an Eno primer. I will one day, um, but I'm just too scared because it's just so much, so much. I, I've said this before on the, the chats. We sometimes do these chats on a Tuesday night about 10 p.m. Uh, British time. Um, so do 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 head over. There'll be a link in on the main page of the channel, so you can mark it in your diary, and uh, you can come over and we'll have a we'll have a right old Barney. Uh, of course, this will look really funny in, in the future when maybe I'm not around or I don't do the chats anymore. But as of the, uh, uh, 6th of July 2015, I'm doing a chat tomorrow night. After that, who knows? Who knows what might be happening? Who knows? Um, but yeah, do try and get this one. and Because it will knock your, so it will knock your bleeding socks off. Uh, and I, oh, that's it. So, um, yeah. That's it. Have I done? Have I done the name? My, my name's Darren Lock. Yeah, I'm Darren Lock. This is another Green Robot right now. You know that. Um, should we do? The, we ain't done the social media thing for a while. Please come and join me on the Twit Face. 
all the action happens there. All the nude pics I post on the Twitface. Um, um, where else is there? Oh, there's the music at music.downlock.com where you can re regale yourself with the amazing sound and smell of Darren Lock. Um, that's music.downlock.com in case you didn't get it. And of course, there's the now legendary Patreon. Um, we're just the diehards. The diehards hand over their cash to keep this train rolling. And that's www.patreon.com slash lock. And, um, you know, if you just throw, throw a quid. Throw a quid in that. It all helps. Every little help, said the little old lady as she piddled in the sea. And on that bombshell, I better, um, I better skedaddle because I've got children to collect from school. Because I always do this after me lunch and just before I collect the kids. Isn't it good? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look at this, look. I've got a robot for Father's Day and it's got a clock in his tummy so I know exactly how late I am. That's how cool, that's how cool I am. Because um, <laughs> I love collecting robots. I'll show you me Wall-E another time. Or me, or me Marvin. Um, that's got off the subject. Anyway, I better go. Because I'm boring you guys, stupid. Uh, only one more thing to say, and that's... <gasps> Prog on!